So everybody's been buzzing about this new do-it-yourself virtual reality kit from Google. It's called Google Cardboard because it's made out of cardboard. Anyway, it lets you turn any Android phone into a do-it-yourself virtual reality headset. I'm gonna show you how to make it today. You're gonna need some supplies. Uh, now, some of them you're gonna already have, some you'll have to buy, but that's okay because most of them are pretty cheap. I've put some links in the description below for where you can find these products online. An Android phone. I put a list of compatible phones in the description. I'm using my Motorola Droid Razor M. Not every Android phone has been tested, so if you don't see your phone in the list, it may still work. Corrugated cardboard, nine inches by 22 inches. It should be thin and rigid. You can even use a pizza box. Two Velcro stickers, one rubber band to hold the phone in place, one neodymium ring magnet, and one ceramic disc magnet. The magnets are for clicking while you're wearing your phone. They interact with the phone's magnetic compass. Two lenses, 25 millimeter diameter, 40 millimeter focal length. These are gonna be the hardest to get. So Google provided a link to where you can get some of these lenses online, but they sold out just hours after Google announced Cardboard. Now you can keep trying back, but they're still sold out a couple weeks after they put it up. I did a bit of research and I came across a company that sells the lenses called Edmund Optics. I talked to some of their engineers and actually they were really helpful. For example, I found out that 40 millimeters is gonna work best, but you can go maybe up to like 50 millimeters in terms of focal length. You can also go a little shorter, but I wouldn't recommend that because a little bit longer is gonna work better than shorter. Uh, so if you do that though, you're gonna make a change to the cardboard cutout, it needs to be a longer. So basically the focal length of the lens has to match the distance of the lens to the phone. If you're still having trouble finding lenses, you can experiment going a little bit wider in diameter, that's not gonna mess you up too much. Or you can try a plano convex lens, that means one side is flat and the other side is curved. Um, I'm using bioconvex or double convex, which means both sides are curved. And that's kind of what Google recommends, but it probably will work fine with a plano convex. Edmund Optics sent me glass lenses. You'll probably want to use acrylic, which are less expensive, but they're also selling out fast. Okay, enough about lenses. To get started, you're gonna need a box cutter, some scissors, a ruler, a little bit of glue, and a measuring tape. All right, let's do this. Print out the cardboard template, the link is in the description, and glue it to your cardboard. Light numbers get glued on top of dark numbers like this. then cut along the edges. Put the lenses in here. Fold it up like this. Put the magnets in here. Glue it up. Put the Velcro here. You're basically done. All you need to do is download the free cardboard app from Google Play. Launch the app. Strap the rubber band around it so it doesn't wiggle around. Slide the phone into the slot and hold it up to your head. You have seven cool demos to try, including YouTube, Google Earth, Street View, and a fun interactive story called Windy Day. You click by sliding the magnet down like this. To get back to the menu, just hold your phone upright. I had a lot of fun building this kit. Now you can find pre-built kits on eBay, but they're gonna be more expensive and you don't get the experience of doing it yourself. Again, I put all the links you're gonna need in the description below. Thanks for watching and good luck.